everybody. Alison Okamitsu here from NicePeopleStamp.com. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada and I thought I would just pop on quickly to Facebook Live tonight um, because I was playing in my studio and started again to play with our embossing paste and um, sorry I'm just getting my iPad set up here so um, oh I certainly don't want to hear myself. <laughs> so I was playing with the embossing paste yet again, of course, and I have a fun technique to show you. So once you get here, make sure you say hello. I love to know where you guys are from, where you're tuning in from, and um, a little update on the embossing paste techniques online class. Um, it's almost full, so I'm going to order those class supplies um, at probably Wednesday at the latest. So if you are wanting the embossing paste techniques online class, I highly suggest you email me ASAP to sign up. So you can email me at allison at nicepeoplestamp.com and I will send you the information to sign up. So Canadian residents only, you know, that's a Stampin' Up! rule. I would love to um, share my online classes with everyone, but that's just not something I'm allowed to do. Okay, so I know we have some people tuning in. Hello, Carolyn, thank you for joining me. I, um, I was just saying I've been playing with the embossing paste more and more and I have a fun technique to share. So if you have questions about anything as well, just let me know because I have been having so much fun with this stuff. I've used almost this entire container. Like there's maybe like, I don't know, a couple tablespoons left, if that. So hello everyone. Oh, there's like one tablespoon left. So I have been playing a ton with it. So if you have questions, just let me know. And if you want to order your own, you can order it in my Canadian online store, which is allisonokamitsu.stampinup.net. So I will put a link to that in the comments when the video is done and when I upload it to YouTube in the video description. So. Hello, Samantha. Oh, lots of Australians joining in. Hello, Robin. So I have my stuff set up on the other side of the table here. I'm just gonna come around to the other side, flip the camera down and get going. So we're just gonna make it a quick and fun video because this technique that I'm showing you will be um, featured on my blog tomorrow, which is Tuesday. So it's Monday night right now and it will be featured on my blog tomorrow. And I'll post this video tomorrow as well. Okay, so let's get going. We have the supplies I'm going to use. So we have the decorative masks, of course. So we are gonna use the diamond one. And there's also the medallion, the clouds, and the brick wall. But we are using the diamond one. We're using the amazing embossing paste, which I'm totally addicted to. And hi Kendra and Donna. We're going to use a berry burst ink refill so we can color it. And then we're gonna add some gold glitter, you guys. Ah, so cute. So first up, and I shared how to do this in my video yesterday, but let's do this again. We're going to color our embossing paste. So grab some out of your jar and you're going to add this onto your silicone craft sheet. So this keeps it for easy, easy cleanup, okay? And then make sure you put your lid back on right away because you don't want your embossing paste to dry out. And then let's add a drop of reinker. Okay. Hi Kendra, you know what? I don't know. I only use Stampin' Up! products. So I don't know the answer to your question. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so let's color our Berry Burst, oh, isn't that so pretty? Love, I just love this stuff. It's so gorgeous. And look at that color. And I mean, you can add more or less depending on how you want it to look. So you can just, you know, just mix it on up. And then I like to kind of put it in a pile so my embossing paste doesn't dry out. And then let's bring in some Whisper White cardstock and put our mask on top. So when you're using the embossing paste in the masks, if you don't feel um, confident and that you can sort of hold it in place, 
then you want to use some scotch tape, okay? Yeah, Robin, it is so easy to clean up from the mat. Just run it under water. I have used this one several times, several different colors. It's such easy cleanup. So then you're just going to drag some paste across on your cardstock. Just like that. Okay, and then this is where the magic happens. Lift your mask off. Ah, so stunning. But then take some of your gold glitter and then you can just kind of add some where you want glitter. You just kind of sprinkle, because you don't have to have glitter over the whole thing if you don't want. You can just have like areas of glitter. And then watch this. Hi, Morgan! Yes, and Donna, this silicone mat is amazing. Everybody needs one. Okay, so then you're just gonna shake off your excess. And look at that. So, sorry, I've, let me just get my excess really off here. There we go, give it a good tap. It's now all over my carpet, but that's okay. <laughs> Can you see how beautiful that is? Love, love, love. And see how you can have it still, you're just your plain berry burst in some areas, and then see how you have the gold glitter through this middle section there? Isn't that so cool? So yeah, Donna, you can add glitter right to the embossing paste, and I have done that. It's just you don't get it to sit right on top like that. It's kind of mixed in. So you don't have the um, the really intense glitter. You have more of a sort of sprinkled in, okay? So then, you know what, let's just do one more. I have my, I have some embossing paste left over from what I mixed, so we'll do another. Just in case anyone's just joining us now. So you can do as much or as little of your cardstock as you want. You know, you can cover the whole front of it if you really want. And if you don't, if you want to have it more thick in some areas, you can just kind of add extra like that. Because when you take the mask off, it'll only be thick in those areas, right? So you can have some more thick sections. And then if you want to go like glitter crazy, you just kind of dump, right? <laughs> you just dump it. And then you can put your excess back in your container, give it a flick. Do you see that? Beautiful. And you can see right along the edge here, that's where some of my thicker sections of the embossing paste were. Do you see that one right there? It's a lot thicker than some of the other ones. It's kind of hard to show you guys um, on the camera. Okay. So like I said, I have been playing with the embossing paste like crazy. I have, um, because I am doing my embossing paste techniques online class. So this is not a technique in the online class. In the online class, we are doing three techniques that I have not shown before. So um, those techniques are going to be, you know, just for my online class attendees. So if you're wanting the information on the online class, um, just send me an email, allison at nicepeoplestamp.com. As part of the online class, you get the palette knives, the masks, the silicone mat, the embossing paste, two reinkers. You get Bermuda Bay and um, Daffodil Delight, and you also get the Dare to Dream stamp set. And this applies for six projects. So amazing, right? Six cards. So that is the card class is my gift to you for signing up for my online class. And yeah, Robin, the embossing paste dries. It's not hard like um, like you th would think spackle would be. It's not squishy really either. It's just firm, okay? So I hope that makes sense. Okay, you guys, I just wanted to pop in quickly and show you this fun glitter technique. Another question I got yesterday was how long does it take to dry? This one is already pretty dry. It's really fast to dry. You know, like I can stick my finger on it and it's not coming off. Okay, so that was something I got asked in yesterday's live video. Does anyone have any questions before I get back to work in my studio? I have to make my swaps for Thailand. So I am leaving on the Stampin' Up! incentive trip to Thailand in about a week and a half. I need to make 26 swaps. Um, and I'm getting kind of worried because it was really hot here today <laughs> and I know that it will be more hot in Thailand so I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> Hopefully I don't melt. 
All right, you guys, if you have any questions, always feel free to pop them in the comments. I always check back um, on the live videos and make sure that I'm answering all your questions. And if you're watching this on YouTube or my blog, thank you so much, everyone. I hope that you're having an awesome Monday evening. And um, again, just, you know, if you're looking for more inspiration, make sure you stop by my blog, nicepeoplestamp.com. Bye, everyone.